Hello, good afternoon and uh, welcome to a update from BJ Kerno Modelling. So in this video we're going to take a look at the Grebo Orc team uh, that uh, um, I sh uh, unboxed uh, a few weeks back now. So I've been putting these together and um, they took a while to be honest because A there's lots of them and what I found was um, I got two boxes. Uh, one box was full of um, resin parts for the um, fans, uh, turn markers, coaches and um, referee etc which I'll show off in a second. Um, and the other box had uh, lots of metals uh, and I had to guess which arms went with which um, which took a bit of a um, took an evening just to, um, to do that. So I thought I'd show the team off um, before I spray it black and uh, start the painting process. So that's um, um, that's what I'm uh, going to show in this video is uh, the um, team ready for priming and um, hopefully um, in a couple of days time you'll um, be able to see a bit of progress on the team. My aim is to paint these um, reasonably quickly um, but also um, paint them in a, in a manner and style that uh, befits the team. So I've sort of split the the table into positions. Uh, so we'll start off with the, the blitzes. So the blitzes are very, very dynamic. And if you were a human player, you really wouldn't be wanting to come against these. Um, so each orc has a, a helmet um, and uh, various bits of bits of armour plate. So that's one of the blitzes. Another one of the uh, blitzer positionals. So my plan is just to spray these black, uh, give them a dry brush of silver and um, or light like dry brushes like tin bits something like that uh, and then start building up the the layers uh, give it a wash of agro earth shade or some or no oil uh, and then go back and um, highlight uh, etc so there's another one of the blitzes and uh, finally we have this one so quite pleased with how they look to be honest um, they're going to look quite nice painted up. So that's the Blitzers part of the team. Uh, we're then going to go down to the, the sneaky goblins. So nice sculpts. Again, they've got a bit of armour on. Haven't decided on the colours yet. I was thinking um, of either uh, red um, or try and do something like the Auckland Raiders or something like that. Um, in black, black and silver. I haven't really decided yet. So this is my plan for this week: is to get this this lot uh, uh, painted. Whether I achieve that or not, I don't know. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, then we're going to go back to the <coughs> line orcs. So that one's just taking the knee, ready to, to blitz uh, on the beginning of a play. So they're quite, uh, quite chunky figures. And um, I believe you can get this team in a resin as well. Um, if you go along to the Grebo website, um, I think these are available in, uh, in resin. Um, I fancy metal just because they are a little bit more solid. Overall, really pleased with the sculpts. Um, and they look very, very vicious. Um, a little bit feral. So that's the positionals for that. Um, two throwers. So there's one. Again, very nice sculpt. 
and um, there's the other one just about to pull back in uh, and, and, and throw the ball up the pitch uh, we then got the troll uh, this one's resin so nice troll uh, the black orcs uh, these are really meaty so he's meant to be splashing in a puddle so um, splashing his fist down into a into a puddle so that's something that we'll have to to look at when it comes to painting and there's the um, black orcs so some nice pelts there that will take a take a bright dry brush which will be good uh, and then if we go back to the positionals we've got some a couple of turn markers that are quite nice uh, we've got a score scoreboard uh, which is resin we've got a timer now somewhere I've got the impact weather goblins so that will look quite nice with this uh, this team as well um, the coach now I've managed to break the finger off there so I'm gonna have to um, maybe get a bit of green stuff and just um, sort that out but he's basically punched his way through the the play board and um, and stood on one of the goblin assist goblin assistants which is um, always good um, and then we've got some fans now I think the fans are a little bit cartoony to be if I'm honest um, and they don't really go with the team but both one of the benefits uh, with the fans is that they are generic and um, they would fit nicely with any any orc team that's uh, you may have I don't quite know what he's doing um, but uh, it's a nice sculpt um, and then we've got some prone players for um, markers on the pitch so that's where we're at um, we've also got a, a referee Showing a red or a yellow card. And as is customary, um, we've got a goblin running across the pitch trying to catch a pig. Um, so his arms come off. I think I know where that is. So um, I'll, um, I'll sort that out. So that's the team. And um, that's what I'm going to be working, over, uh, working on over next month. Or next week, I should say. So I hope you're well. And um, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.